Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the SDXL workflow, which can generate images even better than Flux. As you can see in the side by side comparison, on the right we have an image generated with SDXL, and on the left, one generated with the Flux model. So, how can you achieve this with the SDXL? It's simple, you only need 8 or 5 steps to generate high quality images like this. And the best part, it's really fast even if you're working with low VRAM. First, let's talk about the daemon node. What is it exactly? Think of the daemon node as a specialized tool that enhances the details in your images. What it does is allow you to sharpen certain parts of your image while keeping others soft. It's like making textures pop or softening the background with just a single click. In this video, we'll focus specifically on the Sigma Sampler node, which is part of the detail daemon. Let's start with the sharpness factor. This is a setting you can adjust to control the level of sharpness in your image. If you want to decrease sharpness, you can set it to something like POSO5. This tool small negative value will bring out the details in your image without overdoing it. However, you don't want to go too far with negative values. Too much sharpness can start to look unnatural. The ideal sharpness range is around 0.05 to 0.01. If you want to reduce the detail and keep it softer, you can adjust it to 0.01, which adds less detail. If you go for something like a 0.09, you'll get more detail but it could make the image look a bit unrealistic. So always keep balance in mind. You can download the workflow by visiting the Comfy UI blog website. Simply head over to comfyuiblog.com and in the workflow section, you'll find the download link for this workflow. I will also share the link in the description, including links to the models and everything you need. Once you've downloaded the workflow, open it up and you'll see the options to enable or disable the Flux and SDXL workflows. Currently, I have both enabled, but you can choose to enable or disable them based on your preferences. For SDXL, I'm using the RealVis XL Lightning model FP32. You can download the FP32 model from the link provided. If you're working with a system that has low VRAM like 2GB or 4GB, I recommend using the FP16 model. For systems with 6GB of VRAM or more, you can use the FP32 model and you can download it from the provided link. Once you've downloaded the model, save it in your Comfy UI Models Checkpoints folder. After that, select the checkpoint in Comfy UI. For the sampler, choose DPM PPSDE. Set the steps to 8 or 5, and for the scheduler, select Karas. Additionally, load the VAE as the SSTXL VE. I've selected the Saxel.way in the section, and the download link for this VAE is provided. Let's talk about the Lying Sigma Sampler tool. The key adjustment here is the dishonesty factor. Currently, I have it set to minus 0.05. If you increase this value, more detail will be added to your image. If you decrease it to minus 0.01, less detail will be added. You can adjust the starting point to control where you want the details to be added. For example, if you use 0.1 from the start to the end, it will influence the entire image. You can experiment with different values like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 or even 0.7 to see how the results change. Test these values and adjust according to the type of detail or result you want to achieve. Next, we move on to flux. For this, you can use Flux 1 Dev FP8 model to enhance your results. Alright, let's start generating images using the prompt Instagram photo, front shot, closer portrait, a photo of a 24 year old woman wearing a dress, beautiful face, smile blonde, cinematic shot, dark shot. First, I input the prompt into both SDXL and Flux workflows. Start the generation process, click Generate it for each model. Watch as SDXL processes. Notice how quickly it works compared to Flux. Results comparison. The STL workflow produces a high, 
quality image with sharp details. The Flux model, while also generating good results, it produces slightly softer details. You can compare side by side. Now, let's disable Flux for a moment and focus on the Sigma Sampler tool. I started by increasing the dishonesty factor from minus 0.05 to 0.9. As you can see, this added more detail to the image, sharpening it. But it also made the result worse especially in the background. But to fix the background, increase the value further. I tried adjusting it from 0.4 to 0.7 and that helped improve the background. After tweaking the start to end point, I noticed the background was clearer and the details sharpened up. Then, I tested minus 0.01 for the dishonesty factor. At this setting, the image wasn't as sharp as before. To achieve a good balance, I settled on minus 0.4 to 4.5, which gave me a more detailed, sharp image without making the background too noisy. In this way, you can use the Sigma Sampler tool to adjust the sharpness and detail in your generated AI images. Testing different values for the dishonesty factor allows you to find the right balance of sharpness and background clarity, ultimately adding HTA style sharpening to your AI generated images. Let's take another example. We have the prompt to extremely detailed landscape of the Amazon rainforest, rainy weather, ultra realistic, perfect composition, vibrant river, crocodile in water. We use the same prompt for both models. First, let's generate the result using STXL. As you can see, the STXL model generates a detailed rainy environment with a vibrant river and a crocodile in the water. Now, Let's use the same prompt with Flux. Flux does a good job but ends up generating a crocodile with two faces. To improve the result with Flux, we increase the steps to 20 and adjust the honesty factor to minus 0.05. After testing both models, we notice that while STXL generates a more detailed image, it doesn't include the crocodile. So, we are decreasing the steps to 5 to optimize the results after making these adjustments. Uh, you can compare the two images and decide which one looks better. In this case, STXL is the clear winner, offering better detail and accuracy. If you encounter issues with sharpening, or overly high details, you can adjust the steps. For the best results, a step range of 4 to 5 works well, especially for portraits. Let's try an Instagram style portrait of a 28 year old man wearing a t shirt with a perfect face and natural skin. Now, we'll use the same prompt with Flux, but this time we'll use 20 steps for Flux. For portraits, I recommend using 5 steps for STXL to generate the image. Let's test it. As you can see, the result looks much more realistic. The skin texture, beard and overall image resemble an Instagram photo. Now, let's see the result in flux. As you can see, the skin looks more plastic, making it clear that this image is AI generated. In conclusion, the Real Vision XL V5 point lighting model is definitely a flux killer when it comes to generating more realistic images. That's it for today's video. If you liked it, please subscribe to our channel. Your support motivates us to create more videos like this. Don't forget to like the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. We'll see you in the next video.